Alright, I wanna be honest with you, this time I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. I never cooked uh, sausages, so today I will try to cook them. I've never cooked them, so I will totally go uh, improvised. Let's see how it goes. I think I'll cook them with a little bit of potatoes, some uh, some sausages. So yeah, like today I'm not teaching, but I'm learning. So let's, let's see. I guess I'll take some potatoes and wash them. Uh, Fuck, the sink is full. Uh, I have to find a way. And then I guess I'll put some parchment paper on a, on a tray and just drop the, the sausages in. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. So, but I, I know like my, my few things about the taste and, uh, and food. Yeah, I, I know enough to think that what I'm about to do will work. Okay, uh, as always, I followed this hypothesis, the, the six pillars. Um, so I think that as long as I respect those, I will be able to cook something tasty. So let's see. Uh, I don't know if, I have no idea if sausages have like salt inside of them. Like, do, have, are they salty? I have no idea to be honest. Uh, I don't know. Do I have to remove the, the string? Maybe. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll cut them off. I guess I'll, uh, I also, I will also cut a, a, an onion inside of it. Because why not, you know? So let's start washing the potatoes. And by the way, I'm washing them because I don't want to peel them. Like I, I want to have the, you know, the, the, the skin, the potato skin. I think, I think it's better and it's also more time saving. It's overall better. Okay, so let's start cutting the, the vegetables. I don't know if the potatoes are vegetables, but who cares? And uh, yeah, I mean, I think I'll add some salt, some olive oil, and then put them into the oven, which, by the way, I will have to turn on. So let's turn on the oven. I think this is fine. Uh, I, I never stress too much about oven settings. And uh, yeah, because like, they're, they're kind of useless. They're, they're kind of, <laughs> I mean, it, it works either way. Like whatever setting you use, whatever temperature you use, it is just hot, hot, like, hot air, okay, it's not that deep, so we'll just uh, put a random setting and I guess I'll like, have to cook the, yeah, like cook the, the, the sausages and the, the vegetables, the, the fucking potatoes and everything in the, oh, by the way, this is the best method to cut potatoes I found so far, basically, you split the potato in, in half, this way you can like, uh, like lay them like this, and then you cut them like true ones, and then you can go on the side, you know, like, start cutting them like this, this is like the, the fucking best way. Okay, so potatoes are done. Let's drop it into the into the tray. We will later like adjust them and feed them uh, very well. And the onion. So why am I adding an onion? I have no idea. It feels right, and I'll do it. This is what you should do, like when you cook. I I, I think everybody should just follow its uh, its uh, instinct and just add random, random stuff uh, in, in their like meals, making, you know, everything like this. I, I think that's great. That's the, the, the best thing you can do in cooking. Because at the end of the day, like all the all the recipes out there uh, were created by trying stuff, okay? So if you fix yourself to a certain recipe, you will never like discover the next best recipe. And I think that like experimenting yourself is the best way to find the best recipes you will love. Like. You will be proud. I've I've created uh, a few combination of ingredients, aka recipes, that uh, I really found, I I, I really find uh, enj enjoyable. Okay, and I created them. So, you know, it's not it's not too late to create a few you know new recipes. So just uh, keep your creativity high and uh, unite random ingredients together. Don't be afraid of judgment.
Okay, so um, onions are done. Let's drop them also. And now we'll garnish with the uh, salt and olive oil, which by the way, <coughs> which by the way, um, a pillar of these uh, six pillars. So we have fat from the sausages and the olive oil that we'll add. Then we have the salt from the salt I will add. We have the umami by the, the, the sausages. And then we have uh, sweetness, a little bit of acidity, thanks to the, to the onions. We don't have digestibility, but by cooking all of this stuff, it will become more digestible. So we kind of have a little bit of digestibility. But the most, like, uh, like the strongest uh, elements of today are probably umami and, uh, yeah, probably f salt. Yeah, probably umami and salt are very strong because we have the, the sausages and the saltiness that will come from the salt. I think that's a great combination also the fattiness from the, uh, from the sausages and the, the I guess the, I can, I can also use butter. I will use olive oil because it is like easier to pour on the, on the tray, but you can use whatever. And yeah, I'm really excited to, to taste this. Yeah, I, I think it will turn out great. Okay, so let's add an abundant amount of olive oil and then some salt. If this was not, uh, I, I, if I felt this was not umami enough, like savory enough, but I think this will be enough savory, I could have added some uh, some broth powder instead of, in, instead of the salt. Like uh, instead of the salt, I would sprinkle on some of this broth powder. You know what? I mean, I'll actually do it. I sprinkle a, a little bit of it on top to make it a little bit more savory. Will not change much because again, it's not. Mu I didn't add that much. But it will be better than nothing. So let's put this here. Maybe I, I will remember this is the one I put more broth powder on. Let's see how it tastes later. Okay, so let's add the salt, a good handful of salt. And uh, now this is not enough. Let's add some more. Especially on the sausages. I actually, I have no idea. Let's leave this one without salt. Let's salt the other ones. I'm not sure if the sausages already have salt in them. So that's uh, maybe a risky one. So that's enough salt. Bam. Let's wash the hands. Let's put everything away and let's put the, the, the oven. Sorry, the tray in the oven, not the oven in the tray. So, yeah. I think this, could, this can go in now. Very rough uh, tray, but I feel like it's gonna be great. Let's see. Right, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so a little bit of time passed and it looks more cooked than before. Maybe I should turn around the, the veg, sorry, the, the, so uh, the sausages. I don't know if I should, I will anyway. So let's take them out for a moment. Now you know what actually, I think they will need some more time. Yeah, I will, uh, I will keep uh, cooking the top. From the outside, they looked more dark, so I, I, I'll keep them. I'll keep them here. Uh, fuck! Uh, it's a fucking bath of whatever was in those uh, sausages. So I guess I didn't need the olive oil. Uh, the sausages were fat enough. Look at that! Holy shit! <laughs> Holy fuck, <laughs> a second, I gotta check this out closer. Bro, look at this. I, di I didn't know it was so, I don't know, like, fatty, Jesus Christ. It's not that, not that it's a bad thing, but if I knew it was, it, it was gonna be that, you know, is this fat, I guess? Yeah, this is fat. Yeah, totally fat. I didn't know it was gonna release so much fat. So I guess I didn't need the olive oil at the beginning. Yeah, so something was learned today. Nice. And uh, yeah, let's turn the, the sausages around. They're taking a lot of time to cook, by the way. So yeah, they're long, slow cooking uh, meal this is. Okay, so potatoes are still cooking, I guess. Yeah, they're, they're still cooking. I mean, you could also eat them like this. I will try one. But uh, yeah, I think they will be better if you let them, let them cook more. 
So let's put this back into the oven. Jesus, look at that. <laughs> look at this fucking bath of, of oil. Jesus Christ, I, I really did not expect that. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, that stuff cook, uh, I guess I'll eat some uh, some of this and and some cheese. Yeah, it's because it's good and I'm hungry. It's uh, it's 2.43, uh, so I, yeah, I'll have some, uh, some food. Okay, uh, I think it's ready. What you think? It's fucking fried potatoes that I did. Let's let's poke it with the fork. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I mean it's ready. Come on, for sure. Yeah. My question is, are these uh, are these like onions still good? Well, I mean not really. This yes, but uh, this other no, not really. Maybe like uh, the the stuff on this side is like more burned for some reason. I don't know why, but yeah, like like this for example. Yeah, I don't know if. Uh, yeah, I mean, could go better, but could have could have also gone worse. This potato looks delicious. Jesus Christ, I wanna eat this. Yeah, so let's plate everything. Oh, this is this is the potato I, I needed to taste before. I didn't. I, I forgot to taste it. Um, yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was good. Could have uh, <clears throat> ate those potatoes anyway, but you know, cooking them more usually makes them more tastier. Uh, makes them more tastier. But I, today I'm not very in shape, so. Uh, let's uh, drop the potatoes. As, as you can see, like, uh, look at these potatoes. This looks delicious as fuck. So the, there may be some some guy that uh, knows more about me about uh, nutrition and will say that this is not healthy because like this is uh, end product like advanced end product location or advanced location and product. But uh, because like uh, usually when uh, you mix uh, carbohydrates with fats. You create those, uh, these like advanced AGEs that are called, but yeah, I don't think they are at, at that bad, like as a uh, junk food, for example. I think that as long as you avoid junk food, you avoid most bullshit. So just eat something healthy, even though you cook it this way. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I don't really know what to tell, what to tell you, but <laughs> like, uh, I got success uh, in, like, in diet, thanks to just quitting junk food and cooking my, my own stuff. And if this is the is the way you will cook your stuff, I think that's totally fine as long as you quit junk food. So, yeah, especially, I mean, not especially what the fuck, I, I don't know what, I'm improvising total shit, I have no idea what I'm talking about. So yeah, just cook, um, I know that if you cook uh, yourself and don't eat, I'm repeating, I'm repeating myself, bro, I'm fucking, I'm a fucking uh, broken record. You get the point, just quit junk food, bro. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I don't. I really don't know how to convince you to do that, but uh, just, just, just do that, bro. Like, come on. If you know you have, and you still have not, these are a reminder that you should, that you have to. And uh, keep in mind that if you're afraid that you will miss the good, tasty, uh, tasty food, look at this. This looks tasty as fuck, to be honest. I cannot wait to to taste a potato chip. I will taste one. Mmm. Wow. Fucking hell. It's delicious. I don't know why so many people think that if you don't eat junk food, you will not like your food because eating healthy is a uh, is boring or some shit. I totally disagree. I argue that sometimes it's also more tasty than the normal junk food. I I don't agree with the, with the people that say, oh uh, no, I, I like healthy food. It feels no, it doesn't taste good. Like, that, that doesn't taste better than McDonald's. I've heard a lot of people say that. Oh, I would prefer this ten times more than McDonald's. I I don't. I still to this day prefer McDonald's to some uh, 
other, uh, I don't know, typical traditional meal, but obviously because they engineer their food to taste good. Not only with these six pillars, these are, by the way, these are the main pillars that you like, basically, you crave naturally, but there are maybe a few hundreds more compounds that you naturally crave that obviously are not really obtainable by us. These are the ones that are obtainable and also the ones that matter the most, in my opinion, especially digestibility. But yeah, uh, they engineer their food and they can afford to do that. We can still engineer our food by following the six pillars. And bro, this is, this is fucking amazing, to be honest. So I don't know, like, yeah, prob pro maybe, uh, honestly, this is honestly arguable, 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 arguable. Uh, okay, this can be argued, but uh, I, f I feel this is very fucking tasty. I feel like this is uh, as satisfying as a McDonald's burger. And I usually don't say that. Like, I usually think that uh, junk food companies always have the best because at the end of the day, like, it's their job. It's their job to make us eat something so good that we want to come back. So I don't, I don't think that we can do better than them because they have the money to to spend in all of that research to make us addicted to their foods so i mean they, they probably will always be better but there are some some cases that i, I will still prefer something cooked, uh, cooked by me okay in this case for example i i, I really enjoy this I, I feel like this is very fucking good oh i forgot to turn off the oven let me turn it off all right so yeah i'll go ahead and eat it and uh good luck on your journey good luck on everything Take a bite. Uh, holy shit, like, this is, no, I'm not kidding, this is one of the best things I've ate in a long time. Like, this is fucking good, especially the potatoes. Like, the, the, the sausages and the potatoes are so fucking good, you have no idea. I, I fully uh, can back up the, the claim I did before that this is better than McDonald's. Holy shit, very fucking good.